In today's episode, I'm going to show you how I made four cedar boxes out of one blank. All right, I want to make a little keepsake box. So what I'm doing is I'm gluing up three pieces of cedar board that I derived from dog-eared cedar that you used my pencil with. But I've been making some beautiful things out of it here lately. So, I'm going to try a little keepsake box just to see. I'm just experimenting with a lot of things right now because I'm, I'm new to this part of it. I've repaired houses and stuff, but the fine work I never had time to do. <laughs> Not that there's going to be anything fine about this, but a little finer than working with two-by-fours. Although I've seen art with two-by-fours before. So what we're going to do is do a glue up and then I'm going to cut a cavity in here with a bandsaw, put a bottom on it and a top on it and just see what happens. It. I cinched it right up. Now we'll just let that dry for a few days. Really, you don't have to let it dry overnight, but uh, I'm going to be gone for a few days, so there you go. But when I get back, we'll finish this. experiment with making some the boxes will be nested but not necessarily a set of nesting boxes I, that they may turn out that way but I this is totally an experiment what I've done is I've taken some dog eared cedar and smoothed it off and ran it through the planer so it would have a good flat surface to glue from and uh, I've taken an old tin box, use that as my outside uh, dimension, and then gone just a little bit bigger. I left about a, it's going to wind up with about a quarter inch wall. Now what I'm fixing to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to draw another box right here and just continue on in until it, it, the last one is just so small it doesn't matter anymore. And that way we'll wind up with boxes all the way through. This will be the the outer wall what will wind up here. And then we'll take a, an appropriate piece of cedar and make a lid for it. Anyway, it'll all come together. I'm, I'm writing this song as I go. I don't have any blueprints. I don't have any anything but what I see in my mind. So let's see if I can get what's in my mind out into the real world. That's always the challenge. So, let's draw these inner walls some more. What I'm doing is I'm taking just, just a segment. If you get too exact with it, you might as well just buy you a box at Walmart that was made where they don't pay anybody a living wage, and you'll have you a nice, cheap, perfect box. But, where was the fun in that? Of course, I'm saying where they don't pay people a living wage. We don't pay a lot of people in this country a living wage. So what, what am I talking about? All right. Just using a 
a washer to round those corners. So far we have two, you know, each wall will be a, a unique box, and what we'll do to get that cavity out is I'll just go right in here and, and make one cut through here with a bandsaw blade you, uh, you can't, it's not like a fret saw, you can't thread a, a blade in there because it's a circular blade, so you have to cut through it, but you'll, you'll see all that. I think I can do another one. Start thinning up these walls a little bit. A little smaller ones. Get a chance to see how good I am with the saw. Or if I'm good with the saw. I haven't had my bang saw long, but it has become my favorite saw. Man, I'm mean, going to do so much with it. Of course. Table saw is workhorse too, I mean. But you get used to it, it's not as sexy after all. <laughs> uh, but that band saw can just do a number of things. Have to change the blade though, because you're not using the right blade for the task. I've learned that. Don't use a 3 8 inch or 3 16 inch saw that you cut this kind of stuff with, don't try to think you're going to resaw with that or saw out lumber out of stumps and stuff. You have to have a resaw blade for that. You can do it with the other one, but it won't come out good. I tried it. <laughs> but man, it's like, it's like I got a new saw when I put that other blade on there. Same saw. You know, I'm probably dreaming, but I think I can still get one more out of that. Let's see. I'm going to let it rest after this one. It's going to be getting kind of small. One tip, find out how tight a radius your bandsaw blade can cut then use the appropriate uh, washer size to round all your, any corners that you have to round over. And you won't have to struggle with those corners. At least that would be my thinking. Okay. I'm tempted, but I think I'm going to stop there. So, one, two, three, four boxes. Out of that, we'll just see what happens. Okay, time to cut. Oh, what will happen is I'm going to cut the cavity out. This becomes the sidewall, and then I'll use another piece to glue on for the bottom, and then I'll use another piece to glue on for the top, and then we'll we'll size it all nicely, make it all smooth on the outside. You'll see what I'm saying. All right, let's see if this works out. Now we'll proceed to cut each one of these, that will give us a ring. 
uh, wall. I'm going to move this camera. I just, I just realized you can't see the cut line. One problem with the nesting is the lid. I don't, I'd have to... Well... Oh yeah, no problem. They'd all have to be a little bit different heights to receive the other one with the lid on. But hey, I'm just messing here. Just figured, just playing with it to see what it turns out to be. Alright, let's try next step. Now, our objective is to take this saw cut right here and bring it back to just blew it up. Got to seal that. So, I like to keep a little water and a wet rag and I apply glue with this. I, my brother was an art teacher and an artist uh, for many years. He's still an artist, but he's retired now. And uh, he turned me on to using tools of an artist's nature that work quite well for certain tasks, especially in these small jobs like this. You can put your glue right where you want it with that. just discovered this for this purpose and it of course like I said I've never done a lot of small work before so I was in framing sheets of plywood and, you know you don't look at little corner I mean if you <laughs> if you got everything within an eight to sixteenth you've done a good job you know this stuff it's like there's no tolerance is to make this cut line almost invisible. The entrance of the That looks pretty good, eh? I know to look for it so I can see I can see the line, but it's it's not because of the line, it's because the grain doesn't quite match back up where the kerf was taken out. I don't think too many people are going to care about that. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah. Come on, molasses. Yeah, buddy, that's like butter in a brick. With a Submit one of those trials, whatever you call it. Put it right where you want it. I'll do it a little different. I'm going to do it to clean up before I put the 
clamp on it this time. I can get to it and manipulate it better. Two to go. But I am going to have four boxes when I get through with this. That's I hadn't planned on that and started it, it just, once I do the first one, then I saw, hmm, wait a minute, let's not waste that inner wood. Hmm, <coughs> must be a good fresh air. This place is wonderful up here. Ooh -hoo. Every now and then I show you what I look at while I'm working. Look out and there's a pasture out in front of me, an old red barn, a little white church across the street. What how blessed. <laughs> how blessed to enjoy that and be able to do these little things I enjoy doing. It's funny those first two were so small. Just this the wood did not let it get out of line too much, but now they're starting to get a little flexible. That glue's won't slide a little bit. We will corral it though. All right, the big one. The big boy. I can open that one enough to actually see in there. I love this little tool though, that was just a... I was having to glue up some kerf openings like this and some bandsaw boxes and I happened to look over and saw a package of these that I had gotten at some point. And I thought, hmm. I believe we're glued, folks. We'll let that dry for a while. All right, we started this little project yesterday, and if you remember, we cut out all of these concentric rings. It came out of that. Now, today I've created a little bottom for all of them. And we'll be gluing that bottom on and creating a top and then we'll sand we'll sand all of this to where it becomes perfectly smooth and level and all that kind of good stuff. Then I've got to figure out what kind of top I want to put on it. I do think though it's going to be just a, a little top that I'll have to glue a little, have to create a piece that fits exactly in that hole, which is easy enough to do, sort of. <laughs> Nothing's easy when you're dealing with precision, but anyway. Uh, I'm going to give some thought to that, but I think it's just going to be a little press-on lid that, that holds by friction to the sides. You'll see what I mean when we get there if I do it that way. Alright, thinking time. <laughs>